the deputation. You'll send us a war for sure, Donald. And thinking you're right there, Dougie. The looks I been a get is. A engine doesn't ken what to do the, for the best. Snow came early that year. It was heavier than usual. It stayed too and choked the lines. Most engines hate snow. Donald and Douglas were used to it. They knew what to do. Their drivers spoke to the inspector and they were soon coupled back to back with a van between their tenders. Then, each with a snowplow on their fronts, they set to work. They puffed busily backwards and forwards patrolling the line. Generally, the snow slipped away easily, but sometimes they found deeper drifts. Then, they would charge them again and again, snorting, slipping, puffing, panting, till they had forced their way through. Presently, they came to a drift which was larger than most. They charged it, and were backing for another try when there was a feeble whistle. People waved and shouted, Lord sakes, Donal, it's Henry! Dinner fast yourself, Henry! Wait a while, where have your roots? The fat controller was returning soon. The twins were glum. You'll send us back for sure, they said. It's a shame, sympathised Percy. A lot of nonsense about a broken signal box, grumbled Gordon. Too many of those, if you ask me. That spiteful brake van too, put in James. Good riddance, that's what I say. They were splendid in the snow, added Henry. It isn't fair. They all agreed that something must be done but none knew what. One day, Percy talked to Edward about it. What you need, said Edward, is a deputation. He explained what that was. Percy ran back quickly. Edward says we need a, a deputation, he told the engines. Of course, said Gordon. The question is, what is a desperation? asked Henry. It's when engines tell the fat controller something's wrong and ask him to put it right. Would you say, tell the fat controller? asked Duck thoughtfully. There was a long silence. I propose, said Gordon at last, that Percy be our, um, disputation. I, squeaked Percy, I can't. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. It's easy. That's settled then, said Gordon. Poor Percy wished it wasn't. Hello, Percy. It's nice to be back. Percy jumped. Some trucks went flying. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Please, sir. You look nervous, Percy. What's the matter? Please, sir. They've made me a desperation, sir. To speak to you, sir. I don't like it, sir. The fat controller pondered. Do you mean a deputation, Percy? he asked. Yes, sir, please, sir. It's Donald and Douglas, sir. They say, sir, that if you send them away, sir, they'll be turned into scraps, sir. That would be dreadful, sir. Please, sir, don't send them away, sir. They're nice engines, sir. Uh, 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 thank you, Percy. That will do. He walked away. I had a deputation yesterday said the fat controller. I understand your feelings, but I do not approve of inter interference. He paused impressively. Donald and Douglas, I hear that your work in the snow was good. What colour paint would you like? The twins were surprised. Blue, sir, please. Very well, but your names will be painted on you. We'll have no more mistakes. Thank you, sir. Does this mean that they're both of us? The fat controller smiled. It means... But the rest of his speech was drowned in a delighted chorus of cheers and whistles. <laughs>